Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. There you go. Uh, welcome to the National Library and welcome to this uh, sound tracer workshop about music information retrieval. I am uh, Richard Ems. I'm the head of the music section here at the National Library. And this workshop is co-organized by the National Library and RITMO, the Center for Interdisciplinary Studies of Rhythm, Time and Motion, Norwegian Center of Excellence at the University of Oslo. Uh, first, I would remind you all of having some coffee uh, in the back of the uh, lecture hall here. Um, uh, and we will have uh, sufficient uh, with breaks after uh, uh, a while, so you can just fill up. Uh, and the first thing I was supposed to say is that I'm delighted to welcome uh, the keynote speaker, Matja Marholt, but he's uh, still at the airport, I think, or uh, at a train or something. So, so I, I think I'll just uh, ch shorten it all down. And say I'm, uh, I'm looking forward for, uh, to his arrival and his keynote uh, speech today. Uh, he's associate professor at the University of uh, Ljubljana in Slovenia. Um, and uh, his key interest, uh, research interest, is music information retrieval and specifically semantic description of audio signals retrieval and organization in music archives and human computer interaction. I would also like to thank the local organizers, associate professor and deputy uh, director at RITMO, Alexander uh, Refsumian-Senius, researcher Olivier Larillo, and researcher at the Department of Musicology at the University of Oslo, and research assistant uh, Benedicte Wallis at RITMO. Uh, the goal of the Sound Tracer project is to develop tools for searching in large music libraries through movement, gestures, and other means. And the National Library is particularly happy to collaborate and make available parts of our huge sound collection for such a, a cutting-edge innovation project. Uh, it is our innermost interest to facilitate development of new tools for extracting features from sound files and make these features available for searching. We also hope that these tools in the near future will, be, uh, will open up our and other sound collections for new user groups that could further explore other possibilities. At the same time, the National Library and the Norwegian Public Broadcasting Company, NRK, are develop uh, developing a joint digital archive for Norwegian folk music. We are merging our metadata and digital folk music collection together to make a new functional and durable digital archive solution based on semantic web-based cataloging. Uh, therefore, we are also happy to have uh, Robert Engels, technical uh, leader of NRK's uh, Origo project here with us today to discuss and explore both the challenges and possibilities of music information retrieval as well as semantic web. So I look forward to hearing all these presentations later on and I hope that this could be a starting point for other fruitful collaborations in the future. And uh, without further ado, here is uh, Alexander uh, Nefsum Jensenius that will guide you through the rest of the workshop. Thank you. Thank you, Ricard, for the introductions. Let me just see if I can get this one up and running. So I'm going to walk you through um, some of the background of this, this project and, and try to explain why we are standing here or sitting here today and hopefully also then to see if that can point um, further a little bit. But just first of all to kind of situate some of the research that we are doing at the uh, Department of Musicology at the University of Oslo. Um, we are working kind of between three different axes. Um, one is that between science and art on, on one side, also between nature and culture, and a third dimension could be that of technology. And two of the fields that could kind of characterize a lot of what we are doing could be said to be uh, that of music cognition. Um, that is kind of the way we explore uh, and understand how we perceive uh, music. And the other one is that what could be summarized as new interfaces for musical expression, which is kind of more kind of the creative side of things, uh, but also involving a lot of technology. So these two um, kind of fields also merge a lot in what we see in the Sound Tracer project. Now, a little bit about how we do our research. 
So a lot of what we're doing, uh, we do in a motion capture lab at the, at the university. And um, uh, we study how people uh, move to music in, in different ways. So we've been doing a lot of studies on how, for example, musicians move um, when they play. Uh, this is a picture from a study of, of drumming and drumming fills. Um, and trying to understand really what, what happens here. We have also been um, interested in not only kind of what you could call the action to sound type of uh, connection, but also that of sound to action. That is, you hear a sound and then you respond to it. And that sound could be musical or it could be other types of things. But still, it's a very kind of close coupling between uh, actions and sounds in both ways. So one way we have been looking at this other way of doing it is through performance imitation, or, or that you could call air instrument performance, um, where we did some studies of air instruments, um, for example, piano, guitar, you know, which is kind of the most famous of these, and, and drumming and others. But again, the whole point really was to be able to understand more about how we perceive uh, music by looking at how people move to music. We've been also looking at dance motion with kind of a same type of idea, uh, starting um, or playing, playing music to people and asking them to move freely. Um, where, again, the idea is to understand something about the representation uh, of, of music uh, through the movements that people do. Here we also see kind of the traces of the movements in space of what we see here is kind of a two-dimensional or three-dimensional representation in space of this, um, of the movement of this, this person. And these studies, amongst others, uh, inspired what we could call sound tracing as kind of a methodology for studying music. Um, and this was something that um, Rofinge and I were doing. Uh, this is um, almost, uh, at least, it's more than 10 years ago that we started doing these things. And in the beginning, the idea was really to, to, have, to ask people to, to draw um, uh, while listening to sounds. And they were drawing in a digital tablet. Um, and the idea was to be able to kind of um, understand how people then would represent in a two-dimensional kind of drawing uh, some musical features. And here is a video with some, some examples of these drawings. Now these are static images. But individual sonic, sonic events, but um, we have also been studying more composite, more composite sounds. Attends-moi! Il est déjà parti? And so on. Now, these two-dimensional studies, uh, they were continued in uh, some work uh, primarily done by Christian Neumann um, in his doctoral studies, where he looked at uh, movement in space, because then you're not constrained kind of drawing in a small paper, um, but you can move freely in space in different ways. And he was also particularly interested in looking at um, what happens when you have kind of combinations of, the, of different sonic features that kind of also pose each other so that you have a spectral centroid going up, for example, while the pitch is going down, these type of things, and see how people would respond to these. Um, these studies have also then been taken further by Tesha Svini now, sitting here in the back, um, uh, who has been doing full body motion capture, um, trying to look at how people will then represent m melodies um, through, through moving in space and have different kind of representational strategies for these things. So all of these studies then lead, lead up to the Sound Tracer project that we're talking about today, where the idea is really to do kind of the opposite in the way that we will be able to draw or create uh, a gesture, if you like, or movement in space, and you will get music back from a database. Uh, and you will hear much more about this later, so I, I'm not going to say a lot here, but the main point really is to try to also build on all the kind of the basic research that, you, that we have been doing now um, for quite many years and then really turn this into um, some kind of product. So um, this project is funded by uh, innovation uh, funding from the University of Oslo with the uh, idea then of developing a prototype application and this is something that you will see a little bit later. Now 
it's a lot of people involved in this project, um, both from uh, the university and from, uh, from the library. And um, the most important ones, uh, the biggest ones here in size, Olivier, of course, who's going to talk here soon, but also Ben Dikte and also Hans Hinnisch from the, from the library have also been important in this. And, and then there's a, there's a lot of enthusiastic supporters uh, surrounding you um, in, in doing this, this project. Now, before I'm concluding, I just want to splash up a few things that uh, are interesting, um, perhaps for some of you. Um, we do have a MOOC um, that is available if you're interested in learning more about music and movement in general. Um, we have a new master program where um, some of these things will also be taught starting next year. So if you know anyone wanted to do a master degree. And uh, not least, we are hiring a lot of PhDs and postdocs currently for the Ritmo Center of Excellence. So please apply or send it to other people that are interested in, in these topics. Now, that ends my, uh, my introduction. Um, the most important on the program today uh, are these three uh, presentations that were already introduced by, by Richard here. Um, and we're starting out with Olivier, um, who's now a researcher at the University of Oslo. He has a, a PhD from, from uh, IRCAM in, in Paris and has also been working for many years um, at uh, a Center of Excellence in Jyväskylä in Finland then in Denmark and now in Oslo. So he's been touring the, the Nordic countries for a while. He's an international expert in music information retrieval. Um, and amongst others, he has developed the Me Toolbox, which is kind of a standard tool uh, used in the community now. So please welcome Olivier. <laughs> 